Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, I would like to talk about evolutionary solving using the Galapagos. Before I begin, I would like to state that this area of work is fairly new to me and thus the demonstration that I'll be providing will be a fairly basic one. Okay, let's start. Okay, I created a design using Grasshopper. And for this particular design, there are certain objective that needs to be fulfilled, okay? Basically, the objective can be said to be such, uh, okay? We need to, based on a set of criteria, come up with a solution that provides the maximum volume for the least surface area, okay? So, uh, this manner of work is uh, very suited for the application of Galapagos okay and maybe to make it easier for you to understand um, what all this entails um, let's uh, head to over here to look at the working principles uh, behind genetic algorithm okay basically to do evolutionary solving using Galapagos you need to have two aspects defined okay the first is a list of genes you can think of this as a set of variables that that is uh, allowable within your your design okay and from this allowable variables you are supposed to get a solution that is uh, fulfilling a certain objective okay and you can basically uh, see the objective as something called the fitness function okay the fitness function is the function that is to be optimized okay so Galapagos uh, which is an evolutionary solver is um, a form of artificial intelligence I'll say and this this area of work are uh, evolutionary uh, computing is like biological evolution where the solutions are being generated and they are progressively moving towards an optimized um, solution based on the fitness function okay okay so over here as i mentioned the criteria is to have a maximum volume for least surface area okay this is our fitness function okay and it's written in this way okay maybe uh, let me just uh do a little bit of explanation about uh, what's going on over here okay so as mentioned um we have created a circle and a polygon and from this two objects are I created the various surfaces that will form this design okay so from the surfaces I use a B wrap joint to join them into a closed poly surface or a solid okay and from a solid um, we can derive the volume okay so you, as you can see from the B wrap joint component we are able to you know, derive the vol volume okay and also from this uh, b wrap joint component we are also able to derive the total surface area and it is being shown here basically this b wrap joint connects to an area component which will calculate the areas they are um, from the three surfaces and then I use a mass addition to add up all the areas okay into the total surface area okay and in order to get the maximum volume for the least surface area we have to do a division that means we use the total volume divided by the total surface area and the 
result that give us the maximum value will be will be the most desired one okay because it will give us the maximum volume for the least surface area okay so i hope you understand what i'm uh, talking about here okay okay now uh let's um bringing the galapagos okay so you go to the param the galapagos is parked under the utilities is this node over here so let's bring it out okay okay as mentioned um there are two aspects the list of genes let me come over here list of genes and the fitness function okay and basically they are denoted by the genome and the fitness socket okay so over here um as i mentioned this is a fitness function so you need to uh, connect this to this uh, num number node because this number node is the results that will need to be optimized okay yeah so let's uh connect this fitness to this number node over here okay as mentioned there are a set of uh, parameters that that uh, this uh, solution needs to be constrained by okay and then we need to create these uh, parameters now okay basically they are a certain range of radiuses for both the circle and the polygon and also the number of segments that are allowable okay so we're going to use the number slider to define them okay so uh, the radius for the circle the range is from 2, 2 to 5 okay so we're going to type 2 5 okay so the range is 2, 2 to 5 and I want to set it to one decimal point okay so this I connect here okay as I mentioned this is part of the list of genes so I need to connect this to the Galapagos node okay via the genome socket okay so uh, from the genome socket pull out and touch this number slider okay so this is our first of the list of genes okay and I'm going to do the same for the polygon because you need to set the the, the ra radius so our radius are ranges from 2 to 5 okay 2 to 5 and need to plug this to the polygon okay and again this is also one of the list of genes so I need to connect this to this so as this is an additional connection you need to press and hold the shift key to do the connection okay so <coughs> you can see now we got two okay there's another variable that is needed it is the segments that means the number of segments of the polygon so the number of segments in our case is uh, 3, 3 to 5. So 3 to 5. Okay. And for this, it cannot be a floating point because you cannot have flow floating points for the segment. So you will just leave it as an integer. Okay. So do a connection here. And sorry for this, I also need to change it to a floating point. Okay. So okay yeah so okay this is going to be one of the list of genes as well so pull this out press and hold the shift key and connect down okay so you can see now we have three list of genes so I'm going to label them as a list of genes Okay, I think we more or less define all the stuff that needs to be done. Okay, now let's proceed to start our computation. To do that, double click on the Galapagos component and then uh, yeah, we firstly presented with the option. So you make sure that this is set to maximize. And there's a runtime limit so i want to keep this short okay let's limit it to uh 15 minutes okay okay 
they like to state that uh, when you are working with Galapagos, you could be very careful because this area of work is uh, very computationally intensive and there are a lot of times that I've actually uh, hanged the, the com computer. So you could be very careful when you are uh, setting the parameters. Okay. So I'm done with, with this. Okay. Let's uh, proceed to do our solving. Okay, so go to the solver tab. Okay, just now we have set all this, right? Uh, now we go to the solver tab. And you, if you click the start solver, you'll start to do its calculation. Okay, so uh, let's click on this. And you'll take a while, okay? As you can see on the screen, the software is calculating the various solutions. Okay. okay as it will be taking a while, um, let's watch some images of Galapagos tortoise. Okay. So these are Galapagos tortoise. Okay. They are only found on the island of Galapagos. And man, they look huge. Okay, they really look huge. This guy looks quite hungry. Wow, they are really very big. Let's head over to Grasshopper Rhino to see whether it has finished or no. Okay, so it, uh, the results are not showing yet. So I think let me do a search on a genetic algorithm. If you are keen to know more about evolutionary solving and this area of work, you might want to you know uh, research this topic called the genetic al algorithm. Okay. So I think on the Wikipedia it actually gives a breakdown of the knowledge behind this area of work. Okay, we have uh, got some solutions, okay, and these are the solutions that has been created, okay, um, the solver is still running, so it will progressively optimizes the solution, but I think I will just stop it for, for the mo moment, okay, because um, time is running short. Okay, so okay, these are the solutions provided. You can see that the num number uh, gets progressively bigger. Okay, you can see the number gets progressively bigger. And this is our most optimized solution based on the time that we're given it. Okay, and over here there are other solutions. So for example, let's say you want to see this solution, you can click on it. Okay, you can click on it and click the reinstate. Okay, and we will be able to see this solution. Okay, this is the solution corresponding to this uh this uh value over here. Okay, but we want the optimized solution, so it will be uh this one. Okay, the, the this the highest value. Okay, so uh, I'm going to reinstate this. Okay, click this. Okay, so yeah, so this is the given the amount of time that uh, was being provided. This is the optimum solution. So if you're happy with this, you can just click the OK, and you can see that yeah, for that particular solution, these are the values for the list of genes. Okay, so these values are providing us with this solution. Okay.
with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful for you see you around bye